Today, oh today, my friends, you are in for a treat, literally, because we're gonna be making a key lime pie homemade from scratch. Absolutely delicious, no need to head to the restaurant anymore. And in fact, we're gonna spend a few videos making some of my favorite desserts. You will love them, so get that sweet tooth ready. But first, let's talk a little bit about the origin of the key lime pie. My friends over here, actually at the studio with me right now, we did a little research and found out that people in New York say that it came from there. Some folks down in Florida says it is theirs. I don't know who made it. It's delicious, that's all I know. So let's get to hooking it up. The first part is gonna be the crust. I love pie crust to me, it's the best part of any dessert. I'm still shocked to this day that there's no bake pie shops that only make crusts. Why is that not a thing yet? Someone invent it, please, because I will be there every single day. So if you have a food processor, this is incredibly easy to do. If you don't, have fun doing this by hand. Add some graham cracker crumbs or some whole graham crackers, totally cool, right to a food processor. We're next gonna add in some unsalted melted butter. Make sure it's completely melted. Sprinkle in a little bit of sugar. We're gonna season it with our own sea salt, just a pinch, hit the top on. What we wanna do is just process it on high or low, doesn't much matter. It comes together very easily and very quickly in just a few seconds. Try not to eat it at this point, because yes, it is delicious. Head over to a nine inch or a 10 inch pie pan. Either will work. There's plenty of filling. There's plenty of crust here to fill both. And then using the back side of a spoon, which I like to use, Form the crust completely to the inside of the pan and you can even go over the lip on the outside. Totally fine to do that. I've seen other folks that use the back side of measuring cups, that's fine too. Completely up to you, but you really wanna pack it in tight so the crust doesn't fall apart when you cut it later when you're going to slice that beautiful pie up. We're gonna transfer it over to a cookie sheet tray. We wanna par bake it just for about 10 to 12 minutes on 325 degrees. It's gonna cook for a little bit longer once the filling's in there. So you don't wanna completely cook it through, but you also wanna give it enough time now so that it's finished once everything is done. Let it set to the side so that it's completely cool. But you guys, this is really good timing because now we can prep up everything else that goes into this key lime pie, starting with the key lime. If you have no clue what a key lime is, you probably pass it up in the grocery store and thought, gosh, what is that? It's like a super small lime. It's like maybe a third of the size of a regular, what we would call a Persian lime. It starts becoming ripe once it gets a little more yellow, so don't let that freak you out. It's more aromatic, more intense in flavor, so you can imagine this key lime pie is loaded with lime flavor. It's gonna be very tart, very delicious. Obviously, it'll balance itself off with a condensed milk, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So now what we need to do is zest up a few of these. It's gonna take about eight or so to get one tablespoon. And then, I mean, we got these key limes. Forget the jarred key lime juice. Let's squeeze these fellas. So if you have a lime squeezer, I highly recommend that. Or if you're really strong, <laughs> squeeze the heck out of these things because you wanna get about a half a cup. And it's totally okay if you get a little bit less, a little bit more, it's not going to change this recipe any. Make sure that you run it through a strainer to get any seeds out of there. We're gonna set that to the side and now we need to separate some egg yolks from the egg whites. The easiest way that I know how to do this is make sure you have two bowls, crack the egg, and then sort of dribble it back and forth between each shell, letting the whites fall through and collect in one bowl. And then once the yolk is by itself, go ahead and pour it separately in another bowl. The other way to do this may be a little bit gross to you, but this is how you do it very quickly. I'm gonna put on a glove so no one gets freaked out here. Crack the egg, put it right into your hand with the glove on and let the whites drip through right into that bowl where the whites are. Simply set the yolk aside into the other bowl with the other yolks. Now don't you dare throw these whites away, these are gold. This is egg whites for breakfast, for meringue, whatever it is, give it to a friend, don't waste it. You're welcome. Now we need to make everything. So in a stand mixer with the whisk attachment, or if you've got a hand mixer, totally cool to do here. We wanna whisk these egg yolks on high speed for in between two and four minutes. You'll see 
becomes really, really light and fluffy. You're incorporating air here. It's gonna help give volume to the filling of this key lime pie. Once it is to this point, we're gonna add in some condensed sweetened milk and we'll stop right there because what is condensed sweetened milk? Well, it's simply milk that's evaporating. Like when you cook down a stock or a sauce, you see that steam that comes out and the sauce gets thick. Same exact process here and you guessed it, sweetened. So there's sugar in it. You know what? If you put a little half and half and a little bit of vanilla in here, you've got yourself one heck of a morning vanilla sweet cream without all the garbage in it for your coffee. You are welcome, my friends. Now, what we wanna do is add that goodness right into those egg yolks in the stand mixer. You're gonna need a spatula because this stuff is thick and sticky. Get all of it out. Hit it with the key lime juice that we squeezed. Next, we're gonna finish it off with that lime zest. It's only gonna take a few seconds to incorporate all that. Take it off the stand mixer, go over to that cooled pie crust, pour it right in. You're gonna see that it's gonna peak and come out a little bit, and you'll probably have about a half cup or so left over. It's totally fine. Maybe put it in a souffle dish and cook it alongside, whatever you wanna do here. And it's okay that it's peaking because it is gonna set a little bit once it cooks and once it cools. We're going in the oven on 350 degrees, only for in between 10 and 12 minutes. You really just want this pie to settle, the filling to settle and cook slightly through. Take it out of the oven after this time. We're gonna let the pan cool until you can touch it with your hands, which takes about 15 minutes. And at this point, going in the refrigerator, man, I'm sorry to tell you this, you guys, this takes about three hours to cool. I get it. This is the hardest part about baking anything. You need patience, but there, is a few things that we are gonna get started on to finish off this key lime pie with, so don't go too far once it's in the refrigerator. So let's make some homemade whipped cream. There is no reason to ever buy this in the store because it's way better homemade and there is nothing like it. You will try to eat spoonfuls of this stuff once it's done, it's that delicious. All you do is add in some cold, heavy whipping cream to that stand mixer. Add in some sugar, a little bit of vanilla. Put down the whisk and whisk it on high speed until stiff peaks are formed just like a meringue. It will become incredibly thick. You will know when it's done because it'll be thick. It's not hard. If you go too far, you're gonna make butter, so don't over whisk it. And a really simple breakdown of ingredients to make sure this is perfect every time. Think one cup of cream to quarter cup of sugar to a half teaspoon of vanilla. You can scale that up or down, works perfect every single time. Now, once it is thick, I'm gonna be using a piping bag. You don't have to do this. You can just dollop with a spoon right on top of your key lime pie. This part is up to you. You know I'm a little bit extra in everything that I do. So with a tip and a piping bag, put all that goodness in there, put it in the refrigerator, keep it cool until it is time to use it. Now this next part, man, this is just me. When I worked at this restaurant, we used to garnish the key lime pie with a little bit of homemade raspberry cool leaf. Now, you do not have to do it, like I just said, but something happens. There's magic with that raspberry cool leaf and the lime and the crust. I don't know what it is, it's delicious. So I'm gonna make some because I wanna reminisce at how amazing this was at the restaurant that I used to work at when we made this. I promise you, you'll like it if you do it. Add fresh raspberries to a pot over low heat. We're gonna squeeze in some fresh lemons, add a little bit of sugar, hit it with just a little bit of water. And now what we wanna do is cook it over that low heat. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It'll become thick, it'll become concentrated. Go ahead and stick your finger in there and taste it. It's absolutely delicious. Once it is done, Head over to a jar or cup or container, whatever it is. And if you have a fine mesh strainer or just any strainer, what you wanna do is sort of separate out the seeds. So pour it right into the measuring cup like I did or whatever you're putting it in. Doesn't matter to me, dude. Get all that goodness out. Head over to your refrigerator, keep it cool. Sorry to say, you got two more hours at this point till everything's finished. The time has come, my friends. You've been so patient. I know it, man. It's hard. Every time I open up the refrigerator, it's like, why are you staring at me? I want you. It's up to you and the pie if you want to eat it early. Totally cool if you do. I'm not going to judge you. The pie is done. It's nice and firm. 
but still delicate and gentle enough that we can slice through with ease. However, we need to garnish this thing up because you know that's who I am. We got that fresh bag of homemade whipped cream. Let's pipe on around the outside. I'm gonna do little rosettes all around the outside of the key lime pie next to the crust. To garnish, I've got some thinly sliced key limes that I'm gonna place right in the outside. You can get about eight nice large pieces out of this pie. Once you take that slice out, you can see that it's set, it's beautiful, that color, that crust, absolutely gorgeous. Simply set it on a plate, and you know because of my raspberry sauce, I put it in a squeeze bottle, you can use a spoon, I don't care, just pour it on top because it is good. If you took that extra step to make it, which I feel is totally worth it. It's all plated up, let's get into this. This key lime pie is absolutely amazing. Don't go buy it at the store, skip the restaurant. You can do this in your own kitchen, homemade. I already know you know how to cook. This is your next recipe, you're gonna love it. I don't wanna wait any longer, of course, let's try it out. I told you guys, it's all about that crust. You get a little bit of that salt in there, a little bit of sweet with the tang, oh my gosh. Well, you know I've got a ton of videos. I suggest you watch them. A lot of desserts here. Of course, subscribe, keep following. We'll see you all next week. I'm gonna eat a little bit more. Because I can't help myself. Mm.